and the topic we are going to cover today is filtering and uh, the material presented in these slides is from the book digital image processing written by Gonzalez and Richard uh, it was written in the year 2011 generally we have uh, three type of images and the simplest of which is binary binary means that a pixel in an image uh, is of uh, two-way intensity like it consists of 0 and 1 0 means black and 1 means white then we have another type of image which is grayscale and uh, grayscale means that we have uh, more than one gray levels and it depends upon the type of image like if we have 8 bit image then we will be having uh, 255 gray levels or 255 levels uh, 0 is totally black and 255 is actually uh, represents pure white and all between the in, all between intensities from 0 to 255 are our gray scale intensities or gray scale values then we have uh, color image the color image means that as we can see different colors uh, so uh, the image consists of all the information of the color in the image so here comes the binary image and uh, you can say that uh, 0 is black and 1 represents the white so you can represent a binary image on XY scale and here you can see rows and columns rows means uh, we have uh, the first row is row 1 and uh, uh, all the rows if you can see here these are uh, so many how many numbers you can uh, fit into an image it depends on the size of image so row 1 to row Q are the number of rows and similarly we have column which are uh, maximum P columns and uh, here you can see a grid uh, of uh, binary intensities which make a binary image so we have another type of uh, digital image which is gray level image and here you can see that we have different scale like uh, if the image is 8 bit image then intensity can be 0 or intensity can be 1, 2 up to 255 so the maximum of the intensity it could be 255 and here you can see that uh, we have intensity value 10, intensity value 5 and randomly intensity value 9 and uh, and randomly 100 but all these intensity values are scaled on the image and uh, in the grid way fashion like these are uh, number of rows and number of columns which are actually uh, you can see the position of the pixel and uh, the value of them is uh, ranges between 0 to 255 so we have uh, gray values uh, you can see here on, on the left side of your uh, screen that the image is totally gray and uh, on the right side of image it is actually uh, the red texture this red texture uh, if it is off 8 bit image then again this red texture has also the intensity range from 0 to 255 okay if we have full color, color image uh, then a way of representing a color image is red green blue uh, color image for example we have three channels one channel is blue other is green and third one is red and when we mix up all these channels they make a full color image for example 
the channel blue it has intensity range from 0 to 255 channel green has also uh, intensity from 0 to 255 and similarly uh, the same is for red and uh, after combining these three channels red blue and green we get a full color image image histogram is an important property of a digital image uh, like here the image uh, on the the part of image on the uh, left of your screen is original image and on the right of your screen is an histogram of this image this histogram shows that the values are much closer uh, to the darker side so the all histogram is uh, skewed towards the darker side like it's 0 to uh, all pixel range from uh, 0 to 100 120 so the and the length of bar shows that how many number of pixels are having this intensity for example on the on here let me choose some pen okay for example here it is uh, 50 the intensity is 50 so the bar on the 50 is actually for example it is uh, it starts from here and uh, the maximum height is this so it is I can say that I can see that uh, this height is very close to 600 it means that 600 pixels are having the intensity of uh, 50 so and similarly the other bars so image histogram is a very important uh, property of a digital image and which is very useful which we will be uh, discussed later okay we are going to discuss image noise image is actually acquired from uh, the word uh, with the uh, camera and then it is stored in the computer and uh, while acquiring the image we can get some noise and this noise can be due to uh, light variations like if there is variation of light and dim light then we will be having noise and uh, camera electronics uh, can cause image noise and also uh, uh, the object which has uh, uh, which is exposed to light or exposed to bad light so surface reflections can cause image noise and uh, similarly the lens of the camera can also cause image noise okay here uh, we have uh, if we have i of x y it is 2 pixel value intensity of i i means intensity intensity of the position x y is actually true pixel value and similarly n of uh, the position x y is noise which is at the pixel x y so if we represent if we are going to represent a noisy image then it means that it has uh, information of actual true pixel value which is uh, i of the position x y and also we have some noise attached to it so the same pixel at the same position there is some some value of noise and when we add uh, and this noise is added up in the actual uh, pixel value and we are having a noisy image which is here represented by i cap so uh, here <coughs> we have a type of noise which is gaussian noise <coughs> basically we don't know much about the noise because the uh, value of the noise attached to every pixel if we know it then may it is not in maybe it is not a noise so we call it noise because we don't know much about it. but the thing we know is the distribution 
and uh, you might have heard in the distribution in your uh, statist statistics course and uh, there are different kind of distribution and simplest of which is uniform distribution uniform distribution means that uh, for example if you flip a coin and you are uh, getting the outcome uh, either head or a tail so uh, you know that uh, there are two possible outcomes so it is a uniform distribution and uh, similarly another example if you uh, roll a dice and uh, which has uh, six faces then every uh, face uh, has a chance uh, of uh, one upon six so one by six is the chance for uh, either side of the dice uh, to be an outcome so here, here in this case uh, we have uh, so here in this case as far as Gaussian is concerned we have a bell shaped curve like we know around zero around zero the noise is higher and uh, in the either side of uh, this curve we know that at this position and here on this position the uh, value of the noise is low so here is the formulation of these guys and noise that uh, noise image will have uh, this much value uh, of noise um, for uh, every noisy pixel okay we the important property of the dig digital image is that we can uh, play and we can multiply we, we can manipulate all the uh, values and all the intensity values and all the manipulate the an image uh, pixel by pixel by uh, taking derivatives and by taking averages and uh, let's see how these derivatives and averages are helping out for the processing of a digital image so the definition of uh, derivative uh, actually you can say it is a rate of change rate of change for example speed is a rate of change of distance and similarly uh, the acceleration is again the rate of change of uh, speed uh, so uh, we have uh, another definition of average that uh, we actually sum all the n values and divide it by n if we have uh, five values we add up these five values and divide it by five so we are getting the average for example we have a function f we have a function f and uh, we are applying derivative like uh, we are going to differentiate it with respect to x you know, for example uh, it is the definition from calculus that uh, we uh, approach from delta x if delta x approach to zero the, like uh, there is a small change in x the limit delta x approach to zero and uh, we are having this much difference like the actual value uh, of the function of uh, at the point x and uh, we minus it with the a small change uh, with a very uh, the point very near to uh, the x and again we differentiate it and we divide it by the uh, delta x that uh, delta x means uh, how much we are changing so uh, this is the de definition from the uh, uh, book and uh, the first derivative uh, is uh, represented by f prime of x and uh, uh, in short it is also f of x like it, this is also called uh, partial derivative because uh, it belongs uh, for only one variable so there is one variable uh, so this uh, derivative is uh, partial derivative and it is uh, <coughs> shortened as f of x and the uh, this much derivative is uh, we are going to apply on an image and uh, similarly uh, as far as the speed is concerned it is 
uh, rate of speed is actually or uh, speed is actually rate of change of distance and uh, similarly the acceleration is actually the rate of change of speed so again it was uh, the example of first derivative okay these are uh, some more examples that uh, if we are uh, if we have a function y or v and we are going to differentiate it with respect to x then we are if it is x square plus x power 4 then we will be having 2x plus uh, this 4 becomes a coefficient and uh, uh, there is one less in the power so we are having 2x plus 4 x power 3 and uh, similarly if we have uh, this much fun function of y and we differentiate this y with respect to x then this sin x becomes cos x and uh, uh, exponent minus x becomes minus 1 into exponent of minus x so it these are uh, the examples uh, from calculus again uh, this was the definition uh, of derivative uh, which is represented by f prime of x and uh, here if you try to solve it and uh, you get this delta for example you put this uh, the value the difference uh, delta x which was the small change in x uh, as 1 so uh, by putting 1 in this place we are having this much thing so we differentiate the function with respect to x so f of x minus f of x minus 1 whole divided by x 1 so because the delta x was 1 so it is the first derivative which is uh, f prime of x and so it becomes f of x minus f uh, at the point x minus 1 uh, so the first derivative is nothing but it is uh, it is actually uh, the difference uh, at the point x and uh, the other point x minus 1 is uh, the point very near to it so let's see how it works again we have uh, uh, different uh, type of derivatives like we have a backward differentiation if we are having this much value if we are uh, going to uh, uh, going to minus 1 from the actual uh, actual actual point which was x so if this was the, this would be backward difference and uh, if we are uh, having uh, these all backward forward and central difference you can uh, very much relate it to a binary image so you can see that uh, it it was the previous for example x minus 1 was the previous point and x was the actual point and similarly for forward difference there is x minus x plus 1 like on the horizontal side we move one pixel forward so the for uh, forward if we take the forward difference then again it is it will be the first derivative and uh, we have for our digital image a set central difference which means that uh, we skip the value x but we uh, differentiate or we take the difference uh, from the point uh, next to x and backward to x like we speak, uh, skip the actual point x but we make the difference of the either sides of the x which is the central difference and this central difference will be giving us the first derivative uh, here is an example of uh, the derivative for example uh, we have uh, this function and uh, this is actually uh, you can say it's a row uh, which is taken randomly from an image from a digital image so if the row is uh, consists of uh, the values 10 15 10 10 25 20 20 and 20 and then we are going to uh, take first derivative so uh, you have seen earlier that uh, this derivative was uh, nothing but 
back backward difference so there is uh, no value uh, before this 10 so we are just putting 0 here and uh, we will uh, make a difference of these two values 15 minus 10 it we are getting 15 similarly 10 minus 15 uh, answer is minus 5 and similarly 10 minus 10 answer is 0 and you can see 25 minus 10 is 15 so we uh, 20 minus 25 and uh, we will be having uh, this minus 5 and 20 minus 20 is 0 and again 20 minus 20 is 0 so it, this is the first derivative upon that value x and uh, again if we take uh, double derivative or uh, the second derivative is actually the first derivative of the first derivative so again uh, we have uh, nothing before this or we are putting 0 here over here and uh, 5 minus 0 is 5 and minus 5 minus 5 is minus 10 0 minus 5 is 5 15 minus 0 is 15 similarly uh, so on these all the values so again uh, we have uh, derivative masks mass is very important term which are uh, which you are going to learn uh, in this uh, digital image uh, processing book so for backward difference we have a mask minus one one uh, for example you put minus 1 here and 1 here so uh, you multiply it with minus 1 15 minus 1 is minus 15 and again 10 into 1 is 10 so you add up you add it up like uh, 10 minus 15 you are getting minus 5 uh, the resultant is here so uh, again if you put minus 1 here and 1 here this minus 1 here and uh, this one uh, he over here so you multiply it with this minus 1 and 1 and then add it up and you are getting 0 so th this was for the backward difference similarly we have uh, a mask for forward difference which will be 1 minus 1 and uh, as uh, we have uh, noticed earlier that we have uh, center difference uh, for the uh, first derivative so for the center difference we uh, we have the mask minus 1 0 1 so we actually multiply it and then add it up and then the resultant will become our first derivative 